Hey everybody! Thank you, thank you. Welcome for tuning in. This is Keeping It Real Tea with your girl Yolanda. I'm so excited about my show today. I have none other than Joel Conder here with us today. He is amazing, amazing, a wonderful friend, a great realtor. He's a wonderful investor, have multiple uh, different streams of income. And we're here today to talk about the different things that uh, you could do in real estate. Um, Joe is 27 years old, and I want to just uh, shed light on what he's doing in his business. I want to be able to share things that's going on with real estate so that we can really get to learn from each other. So without further ado, you guys, welcome, Joe. Thank Yay! you. Thank you, Yolanda. Thank, thank you, you, Joe. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I really appreciate your time. I know time is money, Mr. Millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about, uh, well, first, before we get in started, I do want to talk about how we met. Um, we met at the Superhuman Gala, and I think it was October of last year, maybe november -ish. Yes, it was in Dallas. And the funny thing about it is that um, I'm in Maryland, he's in Virginia, and here it is, it took us to go to this uh, event all the way in Texas just to meet each other and to network. I want to talk to you guys about how important it is to network because we would not be here today had we both not been at that event and uh, network. And I think we talked for like 10 hours. It was the longest. Man, it, was, it was a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> we were literally in a hotel uh, just connecting and, um, you know, just masterminding and just talking about so many great things in real estate. When you love real estate and you love what you do and it doesn't feel like work, it's easy to talk for hours and hours and hours. I mean, it was literally, we ended up eating dinner and still was talking and yeah. still was masterminding uh, with so many great other people uh, in the superhuman family. So um, without further ado, again, this is Joel. He's here to talk to us today about uh, different things. I hope you guys have your tea and are joining us. I'm sipping. I'm sipping on a uh, green tea. Joe, what are you sipping on? Green tea as well. There we go. So me and Joe both have our green tea. If you're sipping, if you just tuned in, please like, comment, and share. Before we get even get into Joel's story, I want to make sure that we have viewers on. This is a very, I mean, this is the hottest episode that I have had thus far this year. And I want to make sure that you guys get all the nuggets so that you too can learn how you can have multiple streams of income in real estate. So please guys, take a moment, comment, like, share, let me know what you're sipping. If you're sipping tea with me today, let me know by hashtagging, I'm sipping, share, like, and also tag Joel and I. So if you are sharing this, please tag us. We're going to respond to you and make sure that you guys know that we're here and that we are available for any questions that you guys have. So, uh, Joe, you are a real estate agent. How long have you been a realtor? I've been a realtor since I was around about 23 years old. And, you know, it's that's how I started this business, right, in the real estate investing game. I love it. So 23, you get into real estate. And what what had you get into real estate? What, what was the uh, your why? Well, definitely my why, as you know. I <laughs> my, know. I love this story. I'm going to not cry because yeah, I got to no, no. keep my makeup together. My, my why is uh, my son. You know, he's 10 years old. I had him when I was 16. You know, I found the opportunity to get into real estate at 23. And, you know, uh, I started doing a couple deals here and there. And I was like, man, this is great. But then, you know, I was like, this is not enough. There has to be more. So then that's when I started looking at other sources of income as a realtor and, you know, having all the knowledge that a realtor has, you know, there's many ways to make money if you're a realtor, especially. And that's what I love. Um, being a real estate agent is just the sky's the limit, right? You get to network with sellers and buyers um, and networking is a big part of our business. Uh, without our clients, without each other, without working with each other, there'd be no way that we can really maximize and grow um, by networking. And so, you know, with that being said, um, I want to just pull a little bit into your wife, if you don't mind. Um, sure, I, hope, sure. I hope it's okay. I know the story, but <laughs> I want to be able to really share light on because you're a normal, you're a regular person like me, right. a regular person like everybody out here uh, viewing. And so, when you were going through what you were going through, and your why is is being your son. Um, tell me about that time because I know it, it was a point in your life where you didn't have any income and you were working a regular nine to five job and you were, you know, trying to make ends meet. Right. Let me know a little bit while we're still in the beginning about that, Joel. Yeah. So, you know, when I was uh, when I was 16 years old, I had my son 
you know, before then, just me back up a little bit, I was playing soccer. That's what I was doing for a living. And, you know, that's what I was doing. You know, I went overseas to play soccer. I signed a professional contract. I mean, everything was great. You know, life was amazing. And then, you know, you know, family problems occurred and, you know, I had to come back to the States and, you know, had to go to, you know, court issues and battle issues with, you know, my baby's mom. Thankfully, right now we're great. You know, everything is amazing. But at the time, you know, I had to stop playing. Um, I had to had to find a normal job. I was working, you know, you know, 10, 16 hours a day, you know, just trying to trying to make it out. You know, I was working at a dealership. Uh, I was a porter. If you guys don't know what that is, I was just literally parking cars. And then, you know, from there, I went to a moving company. I was working 12 to 16 hours every single day, um, you know, Monday through Saturday, sometimes even Sundays. But, you know, that just shows like, you know, my, my work ethic. Right. And I wasn't getting paid that much at that time. The most amount of money I've ever got paid an hour is $15 an hour. I didn't get paid any more than that. So then after that, I went to another job because that was just really, really, you know, it was a lot of work. So I went to the other job. And then once I went to the other job, which was collecting coins for a company, I was a collector. You know, unfortunately, I got fired. I never been, mind you, I've never been fired from any Tell job. Us why you got fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I got fired. And I'm going to tell you guys why, right? So I was, I was, um, I had a company truck, right? And with the company truck, you know, I was, I, would, I was able to clock in through my phone. I was able to clock out through my phone. <laughs> so, you know, uh, the jobs that they would give me were super easy, you know? And I was like, man, I can, they give people, you know, to do this route for eight hours a day and I can do it in three hours. So then I was like, man, I'm going to clock in at like three or 4 a.m., like sleep in my truck <laughs> and then, and then, you know, continue my day. Eventually I got caught, right? And unfortunately I got fired. But it was actually the greatest thing that could have happened to me because I got fired from that job and I told myself and I made a promise to my family that I will never work for anybody else. And I was going to try to figure out a way, you know, to go ahead and, you know, provide for my family. And that's when I found real estate. I love it. Yeah. I love one thing that you said is that, you know, um, when you were getting that, you know, $15 and, you know, doing all these different jobs that the best thing that happened to you was that you got fired. Um, some people will look at a negative situation that, you know, it, it's a, it's negative, you know, you failed, um, you know, you, you can't accomplish anything and you, and some people really get depressed in their mind. But what you did was you took that and you saw a way where you'd say, I'm done with the nine to five rat race working for other people. I want to work for myself. Um, I too can relate to that because two years ago I was in the same field um, and just stepping away from that nine to five is scary. It's the scariest thing for an entrepreneur when you don't know when you're going to get that next check and you're taking risks and you're going out. And so because you were an action taker um, and you got into real estate, um, tell us a little bit about, you know, just as a realtor standpoint, because I want this, this show is for everyone, right? Mm -hmm. um, as a realtor standpoint, just getting into real estate. Um, tell me a little bit about your experience. Like, uh, did you change brokerages? Which you with, were you with the same broker? Did you have experience? Were you nervous? Like, kind of just let me know your cup first year. Yeah, yeah, as yeah. A so, no, um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. The first brokerage I ever entered, I'm still there. You know, nice. I I create and uh, I believe in relationships. You know, he's actually a great friend of mine. You know, shout out to Roberto Olivo and Elite Realty. Shout you out know? Roberto. So he's actually an amazing friend of mine. And, you know, an amazing person. He's always helped me with any real estate, you know, um, related questions that I had, especially at the beginning of my my career. And, you know, yeah, I believe in relationships. You know, I, I you know, he, he, tell, he told me since I got there, you know, he believes that I belong there, you know. And it's just like, you know, we, we became really, really, really good friends. So, I mean, I believe that relationship is important. And that's why I'm still at the same brokerage. I had didn't I haven't had a need to leave. I love that. Now, did uh, did you know him prior to going into his brokerage or was it a relationship that developed when you met him? Right. I didn't know him at all when I okay. got there. OK. And, um, you know, that relationship, you know, started becoming a whole lot better when I would just humbly ask him, hey, man, how do I do this? How do I do that? You know, and I <clears throat> you got to understand when you're learning something, you know, sometimes you got to do things for free, you know. Mm -hmm. So I would do a lot of things for him and I would do a lot of things for other agents, you know. 
but just just because of the fact that Can I wanted you say to that one more time. I'm so What's sorry that? to. So I think what people miss is, and I'm so sorry to no, interrupt okay, you, okay. but it's so important to to hear what you said when you started working and and you were you know getting things from your your um, broker. Yeah. You started doing stuff for free. Yes. And you were working for other agents, just learning the business and, and doing whatever you could do yeah. to to network. Yeah. That right there is, is so important, not just with real estate and business in general, um, and especially networking. A big part of networking is doing things and it's no cost to do it, whether it's sending a text to check on someone, whether it's meeting up with someone for lunch, whether it is, um, you know, just, hey, thinking about you. Things like that really go a long way um, when you're networking. And sometimes you may have something Joel, you might bring something to the table. Like I'll give an example. Joel, you you the financer, right? Just a million guy, man. Mm-hmm. You, you know, you bring the finances. I bring a property. We work right. together. Correct. Um, so just giving that example, you have to give something to get something. And sometimes that thing that you're giving may be free. And that free thing may be your time. It takes nothing, no money cost at all to spend your time to network with someone. That could go a very long way. I'm sorry. I wanted you guys to catch that. No, that's definitely <laughs> right. You know, and like, like, you know, just in a nutshell, you know, like I said, there has been times and I still do, to be honest with you guys, you know, I still do things um, out of my heart. And just because I want to learn, you know, I'll be like, hey, look, I understand that you can't go and get this document, but let me go and get it for you. And I'm talking about now development stuff, right? That's the that's what's next for me. And right now, as we speak, I'm doing things for free. Why? One, I'm learning. Two, I even tell them. Please let me know everything that you're doing so I could learn from you. So you got to really humble yourself down. And, you know, and they, when you once you humble yourself down, they will honestly like you believe it or not, man, they'll give, they're going to give you they're going to they're gonna be an open book, you know. So that's one of the things that I figured out in this real estate game. I love it. And I'm glad that you did talk about that, you know, when it just comes to agents, because a lot of realtors get into brokerages and you think that all right, I got my license. I'm under brokerage. I don't need to do nothing. Now, this broker needs to give me leads and this broker needs to provide me this training and this, you know, I'm under you. So you got to give. But as an agent, we also have to put out that energy that we want to receive back. And that may be doing something for your broker, doing something for other agents or just networking with people in the business in general. Um, so I did want to share light on that. Um, so so you're a realtor. Realtor is, is doing good as a real estate agent. You're doing really well. We talk about that as your other money, other income that just, you know, come in. Let's get into the good stuff. If you guys are just joining me before I have Joe go to the next step of his multiple streams of income that he creates in real estate, please like, comment and share. Tag Joe, tag myself, Um, you know, keep it hot. We love the energy. Joe is spitting to you how he at 27 years old, making one million dollars in three months, three, one, two, three. Um, And before that, a year ago, it took him one year to make a million. So as he's creating different multiple streams of income, as he's getting savvy with his investing and also using his license as a real estate agent, um, listing properties after he's doing fix and flips. I mean, this today is just crazy when it comes to if you love real estate, this is where you need to be. If you're a real estate agent, if you're an investor, if you're a wholesaler, Please tag your friends, like, comment, or share. There's so much nuggets that could be learned today. There's so much value that could be learned today and what we're doing. So please, guys, like, comment, and share. Uh, again, you're keeping it real tea with your girl, Yolanda. This is Joel. And we're getting ready to get into the next step. So we already learned that he's became a realtor, okay? He was 23 years old when he first became a real estate agent. Fast forward to now, he's 27, and in three months, he has doubled his income, tripled his income in one year that he's now doing in three months at 27. So let's get into this fix and flip business that you do so savvy, yeah. Mr. Joel. <laughs> That's my bread and butter. You know, I love talking about it. <clears throat> you know, I um, I also, well, let me just, you know, after, after I became a realtor, right? I'm still a realtor to this day. I go ahead and acquire properties and I actually list them myself as a realtor. So any property that I obtain and I fix and flip, I go ahead and already save myself 3% on the listing side. Boom. Can you say that one more time? Because I don't think as a real estate agent that we really take advantage of what we have as licensed. So please, one more time for for the people that's listening. And please write this down, comment, write in the comments, like, share, comment, um, share us out, tag us, but please repeat what you just said because that is nugget. Yeah, so when you acquire a property and you're fixing and flipping and you're a realtor, 
you know, you go ahead and list that property on your own and you're already saving yourself 3% on the listing side. 3%. I know I like to save 3% because when you get that 3% commission check. Yeah. So let's, let's, let's put numbers into play, right? Yep. If you're selling a house for 300000 you know, and you go ahead and save yourself 3%, that's $9,000 that you're already profiting just because you have a license and you can list that house on your own. Man, that's a heck of a save. That could go towards the rehab property you went to. That can go yeah. towards a trip because you know I like to take trips. I could take a trip with that money. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> but that is good. So, so as a realtor, you can acquire property as an investor and save your money paying a, uh, another realtor 3%. So you would only be paying the buyer's agent if a buyer, another buyer bought the you know agent to the property, then you would just uh, pay 3% and save the other 3%. So um, break down a little bit for the people that want to know, um, even if you're not a realtor, obviously you can still do this, but you just got to pay your realtor fee. <laughs> That's right. But, um, how are you? So acquiring properties, talk to us a little bit about your strategy with your fix and flip. Sure. So um as soon as I became a realtor, like I, I was saying before, right, you know, I started doing real estate. I started making some money and I said, hey, man, there's has to be more to this. Right. So then I went ahead and st I found wholesaling and then I started trying to figure out what wholesaling was, how I can wholesale a property, you know, and I figured everything out. You know, you're literally flipping paper, which is amazing. You know, shout out to all the wholesalers, you know. Hey. So, <laughs> so so then what I did was I was like, hmm. If I'm buying my fix and flips from wholesalers, what if I become my own wholesaler, right? And so I have an operation now. I have a group of people, um, part of my team, right? They're like family. And, you know, they go ahead and acquire these properties. And I go ahead and regardless of the situation, if I'm purchasing the property myself, they're still getting their commission. And I'm flipping it on the back end. And I'm going ahead and selling that property as a realtor. So... <sighs> That's just three ways of making money on one deal. And do you ever run into deals where you decide to keep them for yourself and just have a buy and hold? Yes. Yes. There has been properties where I just literally buy them and I hold them and I rent them out for cash flow. This is what I love because I don't know if you guys are listening. I have to repeat it. I got to get loud. I'm so excited about what we're talking about. So you have a company. Um, you're a realtor. Yes. Your company finds properties. They get paid their commission. You decide what you want to do as far as an extra strategy with this property. You can keep it. You can buy a hold. You can fix and flip. You can list it as a realtor. Um, if you don't want the property that your your team is, uh, have found, then you can go ahead and sell it to someone else. Right. So here it is. We have talked about, about four different streams of uh, income in real estate. And the whole plus to this is he's also a realtor. I'm going to keep saying that because I'm a realtor, so I'm really biased <laughs> um, for realtors because this is the reason why so many people say, well, you know, why do you get your license? Or, you know, some people think that, you know, in a business being an investor, you don't need to have a license as a realtor. And I think it's the best of both worlds. Um, that's why I call myself the powerhouse realtor, because I know the best of both sides. Um, I could be able to, you know, go any deal, just kind of look and see which way you want to go ahead and take that deal. And it's a great thing because you can keep your money on the table. So for me, that's why I became an agent. I actually was investing before I became an agent and then went back to get the license so I can keep the money on the table. So um, for those of you that just turned tuning in, we are talking about creating different streams of income in real estate. Um, you have a real estate agent, you have an investor, you have a wholesaler, you have um, a company that you can you know, work with and they'd be able to do buy and holds where you could be able to now collect rent. Um, and in this game and in this market, rent is constantly going up. Yeah. That's a great, great thing that you could do to build generational wealth for your children, um, for your family. I've had some clients and it was crazy about three years ago, maybe I wasn't even a real estate agent. I was just kind of looking for houses and I had a, you know, I would, would ask questions. And so I would talk to um, a realtor that I knew that was taking me a look at rentals though. And she's like, you know, I have clients that buy these properties and once their kids go to college, they sell the house. And so now they have money for their, you know, children's college run and it's like totally paid off 
for me, that was like the smartest idea um, because now you don't have to worry about your children being in debt or you being in debt because you want to go ahead and take care and pay for their uh, education. So it's just so many different vehicles that you can use within real estate that I love, love, love. And this creator mindset is just constantly always thinking of what he could do next. He has some amazing projects that's coming up. Not going to give too much of the tea, but he's starting to dip in a little bit into development. So he has a huge project. Um, he's going to allow me to definitely follow up once that project in, uh, has come to fruition. So it's all a uh, deal right now. So uh, we will stay tuned on that. But I'm so excited to see what you're doing in development. Um, I mean, the, the plan that he just talked from the dome of his head last night was bananas on this uh, development deal. So... <laughs> Prayers up to everything. Of course, in real estate, sometimes we don't like to talk about deals until they are completely done. Um, just because it's a way that we we like to stay balanced, right? We try not to get our emotions into these deals, but right, right. this deal is like super huge. So Makes I'm going to be so excited to follow up about that. So we have development in place. We talked about, you know, as a, a real estate agent, um, we've talked about um, the other different streams of income. We did not talk about, which is something that allows him to really do this so strategically, is you also are um, partnered up with your dad with the construction company. Right. Tell right. us a little bit about that. So with these fix and flips, right? So we so we have a wholesale company that acquires the flips, right? And then we go ahead and wholesale on that company. Once we acquire the property for us to flip, then I go ahead and I also own a company with my dad. I partnered up with him and we have a construction company. And, you know, he's my general contractor and, you know, we created not only a bond, but a great relationship. And I believe that a lot of people say, you know, working with family is really difficult. You know, it could be. But, you know, if, if you guys are working with good faith, everything is going to go well. Right now, my, my dad handles all my projects. When I say he handles them, we have five crews year round working every single month, you know, to help us, you know, keep growing. So no, I'm I'm very I'm very I appreciate them on a daily. I appreciate them. I give them bonuses every single month. You know because of the fact that if you if you treat them right, they're gonna stay with you. So I mean, like I said, I go back to everything. I mean, relationships is everything in this business. And um, what was your question again? I got I got carried away. That's okay. I love, <laughs> I'm just listening. I'm like okay. Um, but one thing I do in the, in the working with your dad. Um, this allows you to really strategically break down your fix and flip. Oh, yes. So when I first met you um, back in Texas, we talked about your breakdown, which is just so sick. Please explain to my uh, viewers and everyone listening, please break down how you do your flip in a certain amount of time, sure. the criteria that you look for in certain areas. Okay. And um, one more thing, how you break your numbers down. Like, okay. how do you know you got a good deal, basically? Sure. So let's just say my wholesaling company acquires a property, right? We get it today. I go ahead and run numbers on it. You, I, I would recommend you guys to either get your license as a realtor or find a friendly realtor that can help you out with this, right? To go ahead and analyze the deal. So what I do is whenever I get, whenever I get the property, I go ahead and run comps on it, just like any other realtor. But I go a little bit more deep into it. What I do is, sorry, there's an alarm. <laughs> So what I do is I probably forgot to do something. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what I do is I go ahead and um, I, I, I narrow it down a little bit. If I get the property at just one two two one two three Main Street, I go ahead and put a one mile radius, and then I go ahead and see how many houses have sold and how many houses are pending, how many houses are still active, and then for example, if there's ten houses that have sold within the past month, right? And all of them have sold. That means that market is hot. Can you say that one more time? For those of you that are listening that need to take notes down, please don't repeat that because that's a very important step that's going to help you know if you have a good deal. So the way I analyze it, once again, is I go on the MLS or you can find a friendly realtor that can do this for you. And you go ahead and just literally look up the property address. And then you go ahead and do a one mile radius. And you go ahead and put which how many homes have sold in the last 90 days. That's the key. How many houses sold in the last 90 days? And then you go ahead and see how many houses have sold in that area. Let's just say that 10 properties were on the market. And let's say that seven of them were sold and then three of them are under contract. What does that tell you? That tells you that the market is hot. Mm -hmm. Now, that's, that, that's, the, that's one step. I go deeper into that. Then I go and see how long has these houses been on the market for? So then I go ahead and see, for example, 
Um, all all seven houses that have sold, um, you know, all the properties have sold in within less than 15 days. That tells me that that tells me that area is super hot, and I'm buying because I'm buying, right? It gives me no other choice than to buy it, you know. And obviously, if the numbers work out, you know, if the wholesaler is gonna, you know, wholesale wholesaler sells you the property at a good price, and then you can then you go ahead and you know get your renovation cost, and every all those numbers work out for you. And then this, when you analyze the property this way, if that works out for you, it's a home run, you know? It makes sense. If the numbers make sense, you got to do it. Please, guys, like, comment, and share. We have Joe here sharing nuggets, telling us how he's created multiple streams of income. Again, I've watched you grow in the last couple of months, and it's been insane. <laughs> the last 30 days to be Pacific. Yeah. I don't know what drink you've been drinking. Can you give me some? But you have been on fire. I have seen you step out on social media, which I love. You are marketing to uh, your Spanish uh, community, yeah. which is dope. Um, you already have everything in English in your content, but now you're going back and putting it in Spanish and looking out for your community, making yes. sure that everyone, no matter what language you speak, no matter where you live, no matter what you have going on, you can to do this. Um, everything that I do, he does double, <laughs> which is crazy. And and when it comes to marketing, because I'm nowhere near the the one million dollar stretch, but I will be because sure. I am here learning every single thing I could possibly grasp from Joel. And it's just so amazing when you could be in the same energy. I wish you guys were here to feel this energy. <laughs> like literally, I'm touching <laughs> Joel, guys. Ah! And it's amazing because he is just awesome. He's so humble. Um, you know, I, I don't want to break down and get into his his business as far as numbers, but literally closing two deals in, in one month and just making that close to one million range. So, again, he has deals that he's closing, guys, in three months making one million. If he can do it, why can't we do it? And myself included. That's I'm right. I'm totally here. I did not tell you I was going to say this until I got on TV. This is like my new mentor for free. I don't have to pay for this. This is free game. It's free 99 game right here. I'm sipping and that tea is hot. Listen, <laughs> two deals, two deals in 30 days. And I'm, I'm going to average it out because I don't even want to say it. I don't want to scare y'all. But two deals in 30 days, we're looking at about almost 800,000. Like on two deals. He just closed this morning. Like, yeah. I'm like, hey, Joe, what are we doing tomorrow? I'm coming for closing, but I'll be there. Okay, cool. Yeah. He closes on a regular. I call him on a regular. Like, oh, I'm just leaving the bank. Like, it's nothing. Have you guys saw his slingshot <laughs> <laughs> that he currently rents out? I mean, it's just, and that's also, even though it's not in real estate, but he also has another stream of income where he just basically bought a slingshot, rented out, and, um, and that thing stayed booked. Yes, it, it stays does. booked. I'm already booking. How much I get for one day? You <laughs> can have it for free. Hey, y'all heard that? <laughs> y'all gonna catch me on a slingshot? He just said I can get in there for free, so I'm gonna do a video, y'all, when I get in there. <laughs> Let's do it. Awesome, amazing. So we talked about construction. Um, I snuck in about the the slingshot that you got. Yeah. What other sources of income um are you working on or doing right now? Because I'm all in the business. Oh, like course, I'm getting all in the tea. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, yeah, obviously real estate, right? Wholesaling, fix and flips, buy and holds. You know, now I'm getting going to get into development, which I'm going to go ahead. You guys know what development is, right? You buy land and then you go ahead and make a new Actually, construction home. Actually, real quick and, and not to yeah. get into your detail, but the land deal just came on the humble of your crew right. looking for a deal. So it wasn't even something that you, it's like you stumbled upon this yeah. and then got creative in his mind and said, okay, I got something on the table and this is entrepreneurship, guys. Things are not going to be perfect. You may not have systems. You may not know what you're doing. But Joel is living proof that if you take action, if you take a risk, you, the, the possibilities are endless. But you have to take action. You got to take the risk. You got to put yourself out there um, to be able to get these results to come back. So it's not like he's just sitting around not doing. His team came upon this deal and his creative mind figured out, OK, do I want to keep it? Do I want to sell it? What can I do with this deal? And now he's in this whole huge developmental deal that he's learning as he's going along. He's not afraid to take risks. He's not afraid to take action. Um, you know, a lot of why he's here today is because he's taken action. Um, he's been able to, you know, just get past that mindset. We have a lot of times we have stinking thinking 
And when you have stinking thinking, it really, really affects with your business. It affects with your personality. Uh, energy is transferable, right? And that's why I wanted to come in here. If you guys know, and if you follow me every week, I'm in my house. I'm never out with the uh, guests. And so today I wanted to come in because I wanted to feel this energy. Um, I love when we connected in Texas and I just wanted to get that energy back. Um, when you're on the screen with the other person, you can feel the energy through the screen. So I hope you guys can feel my energy. Mm. <laughs> but being side by side, like the energy is just like a magnetic force, right? It's just like it's transferable. And so I wanted just to kind of create this this huge energy that just kind of repick and rechannel me personally um, back up. Before Joel was going to be on the show, I wanted to connect with him and just, you know, continue to reach out and network. And I was like, you know what? It would be a great idea to have him on the show because he's still coming out of his shell. Um, he, he doesn't, you know, talk about things that he do. And he's so humble that I wanted to really share light on um, his business him being a realtor and so many of my realtor friends, because we always, you know, in real estate, it's just that fine line of, you know, making sure that you're good to do other businesses. As a real estate agent, you can have any business other outside of real estate that you want to have. You know, that's just like if you have a regular nine to five, but you get a part time job, you're not committed to either. You can have as many businesses as your mind can create. And so I really want to talk real to uh, real estate agents. If it's something that you want to do in real estate, Create your LLC, make the business legal, do your thing. That's it. You don't owe nobody anything. You don't owe nobody explanation. This is your company, your ownership. It's legal. Do business. We have to be able to create multiple streams of income if we want to be financially free. I don't know about you today, but if anybody wants to be financially free, write that down in the comments. Hashtag financially free, creating multiple streams of income. And Joel just told us really simple how to do it. Um, if you are looking to be a real estate agent, you can definitely go into the CE shop. Um, they have classes online or figure out other classes that you can um, do. If you're interested in becoming a realtor, you already have your license or you need questions or help, please reach out to me. Um, it's not a problem. Joe's in Virginia. So if you have questions about Virginia, um, becoming a real estate agent, or you know just want to talk to Joe and pick his brain from the Virginia standpoint, reach out to Joe. Obviously, I'm in Maryland. Um, definitely hit us up. But I think it's so important, like I said, to just bring light to situations that as real estate agents, we don't talk about. You right. know, when you go in your broker's office, if you have a business um, outside of broker, you just you don't talk about it. And I don't know if that's every realtor, but I know for me personally, I just don't talk about it. Um, I don't think that, you know, other uh, brokers or agents are interested in, in what I'm doing. And so it's just been something that because of the industry in the world make you feel like you can't do other things that I just inherited not to discuss it. But, you know, I want to be free in uh, real estate and I want you to be free in real estate, whether you're a realtor or not, you know, take action, do it today. Don't delay, you know, don't, I'm going to do it next week because you're not. Do it today. You know, if it's something that you want to do, even if it's outside of real estate, do it today. I encourage you guys to take action. I encourage you guys to be financially free. I encourage you guys to get out of the rat race. I mean, it's easy said than done, but if you don't take the action, you know, knowledge is power, but knowledge is only power if you use it. You got to use it because you can learn from so many people, but if you're not utilizing it in, in, in the right way, then you're, you're just wasting time, pretty much. You're just wasting time. So you got to be like my man, Joel, here. You got to take action. Um, what else do you have going on? We talked about a lot. I know you're like, uh, yeah. I think we talked about all the multiple streams of income I have. Well, we have it. <laughs> Let's go. No, so, Wrap it out. No, I also have a washer and dryer business now. Remember, guys, I used to collect coins, so then I okay. figured out what the business was about. Nice. So, you know, I also have a washer and dryer business. Um, I go to you know, own, like honestly, even the the wholesaling part of it actually helps me do this now, because when we go ahead and outreach to um, owners that own multi units or apartment buildings, right? Then we go ahead. Oh, I get I get in contact with the on. owners. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I get in contact with the owners of the of the building, and then I personally go and then I tell them, hey, you know, I see that you know you have uh, washers and dryers down here. How's when is your contract then? And they'll be like, hey, it ends like next year. Cool. I'll come back next year. And then I've already gotten two um, new apartment comp well, buildings. And I have around 10. Yeah, I have 10 washers, 10 dryers in each building. So that's a total of 40, 40 washers and dryers. 
Now, you know, obviously that's just pretty much just passive income at this point, you know. Man, just creating multiple streams of income. Just, just, I know your account just be buzzing off. Ping, 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 ping. Actually, when we was in Texas, he was like, look, I'm not bragging. This is what I do. And I saw the the uh, deposit he just got. And I was like, whoa. <laughs> and we in Texas. So the thing is, you know, it, it's so amazing in real estate because it allows you when it says financially free, you can do whatever you want to do. Go travel, you know, do some great things. And you're still making money and being able to take care of your family, you know, being able to be a leader. And so one thing that Joel and I talked about, um, he has so much knowledge and he's still learning. He's still humble. He's still ready to learn, um, ready to work and do different things. But the thing that makes him different is that, again, he's an action taker. He gets up every single day like he's not a millionaire. Trust me. Look, look what my man got on. Y'all, you see, he got a black shirt, regular, you know, shorts, just just normal. And I, I'm pointing all of this out to say you too can do the same thing. You know, it's nothing that is uh, greater to do. If you can think it, you can do it. The thing is just taking action, getting around some great people, making sure your circle is tight as well. If you don't have someone that's going to hold you accountable in your business, you need to get you some new circle of friends. I'm going to say that again. If you don't have people in your circle daily that are supporting you, uplifting you, um, encouraging you, holding you accountable, I had my brother Bryson. I don't know if Bryson's on here. Um, comment Bryson if you hear me. Bryson called me yesterday. He was like, sis, I love you, but um, I got to hold you accountable. And he held me accountable for some things that um, I needed to be held accountable on. But it was very respectful. I received it in an open way. And we got to be around people like that, that want to see us do well, that want to see us succeed. And so I encourage you today, if you don't have friends like that, Get into some circles on Facebook. Um, the Superhuman family is wonderful. I love the Superhuman group. Um, they've been a part of me for oh, a little over a year. Um, and we've really built a family. It's a networking family. We all work together. We close deals together. Uh, we uplift each other. We encourage each other. So we have some great things planned uh, with the Superhumans. And I'm so excited to share that with you guys on Sunday. But if you guys are looking for a group to be held accountable, if you guys are looking for uh, a family of like-minded people and structure, please come to the Superhumans. We would love to have you guys. Um, we have some hot stuff. Uh, shout out to Aaron Bevins. That's my mentor. I love, love, love Aaron. That's my guy. Um, and he's just been giving a lot of free game to the superhumans for well over a year, um, changing lives, you know, creating millionaires um, just in our business. And so, again, it had not been a part of that family. I would have never met Joe if I did not go to that event, which was just, you know, a bomb event. Guys, if you're just tuning in, if you have not liked, commented, or shared, you are tuning in to Keeping It Real Tea. My guy Joel is here. Joel hosts an event at DMV soon. Hey, PB. <laughs> MB said host an event. Check this out. My guy is on everything. He has a great marketing team. Um, he's definitely going to be hosting more events. He's going to be going live more. Please make sure you guys follow him at. Follow me at Joel Condor underscore on all platforms. Listen, the boy's doing interviews live at you know, 8 p.m. He's going live talking about things. Um, he's in event. If you speak Spanish, if you know somebody that speaks Spanish, please still hashtag them and uh, tag them on this page because he also does uh, marketing for the Spanish community. He does events for the Spanish community. He's doing a lot big, big, big there. So it's getting ready to be a lot of great things for them as well in addition to us. So he's not just leaving it over for the English speaking community. It's for everybody. So he has lots of content and nobody's doing that, by the way. Nobody's breaking up their content between English and Spanish. My man is just, listen, do you ever get sleep? I don't even know if he rests. Like, what's good? I definitely do. You do? Yeah, you got to balance I bet with a million time. dollars in your pocket, I would rest too. <laughs> That's bomb, though. Yeah, no, definitely, you know, balancing my time has been very, very um, difficult. But now I'm I'm learning um, with, long, with, the, with the side of my marketing team and my wife, my family. They're actually helping me out. They're being supportive because... You know, this does take time, you know. I could be with my son right now. He's, uh, you know, in summer break. But, you know, hey, we're here. We're giving value. And, you know, it's very important. I believe that once you reach a certain level, you know, um, money is not an issue. You know, it's all about giving value. And I think that's, that's, the that's where the future is going. As long as you have value to give 
and you know you're able to help as many people as possible then that's that that that's winning you know exactly and that's the goal when you look at it with intentions of not what you're getting out of it but what you're pouring into the community things just line up you yeah. know and it just has a way of just continuing to make sure that you know the universe the people the energy like all this combined it just really makes it you know a great thing and when you put that energy out I don't know about you, and, and I'm, I'm sure because our spirits are, are connected, but I just feel so good when I help someone. I feel so good whether, you know, no price on it, um, just talking to someone, giving them information. It goes a long way. You don't have to put money on everything that you do. You know, you don't have to do that. If you just really be genuine with people, open up your heart, open up your mind um, and just allow the spirit to really in the universe to really just connect and um for me, I'm, I'm very spiritual. So that's why I had to go to that spiritual in, in nature because it's so important. It really allows you in the morning to just get up and start your day good. It gives you great energy. You know, again, energy is transferable. So if you're out helping people, you want to help them with that positive energy. Um, for me, it's not about a deal. It's always about who I'm helping that they can share with someone else that I can help. This show is so huge because with keeping it roti, I'm about impact, content. I want to educate, but most importantly, impact. If I do nothing else, but I've impacted one person with Joel's story today, then I've done my job. If someone has learned something, if you learned anything today, if you enjoyed the segment today, please hashtag I'm sipping, keeping it real tea. Show some love to me in the comments. Show some love to Joel in the comments. If you guys have questions for Joel, hit Joel up. Uh, we are available. And, and like he said, you know, we could be with our kids right now. We could be with our family. We could be doing other things with our time, but we are choosing to impact because we love real estate. And again, when you love what you do, it does not. Does this feel like work? No. This is just fun, right? Yeah. I'm sipping tea, enjoying myself with Joel. I'm in Virginia today, having fun. Um, and it's just good, right? He closed the day. I closed yesterday. You know, just closing deals, having fun, talking real estate and networking is really game. Um, and I love being around people who are like minded, who can inspire me. If you're not around someone that can inspire you, get new friends. I got all new friends. I mean, I still have my same friends. I love my girls. I have my same circle. But people in real estate, I've really just started creating new friends, learning new things, being around people that can uplift, inspire, encourage and just take you to a different level. Um, if you learned something today, guys, again, like, comment, share, hit us up, tag us in. Joel, let you know how you can reach out to him. You see Joel Condor in the back. Check out my man's sign. It's dope. I am here right now in his office um, and just having an amazing time. We've learned just to recap a little bit. We've learned a lot about Joel. We learned that uh, in three months, Joel has been able to... Um, bring into his company $1 million in three months. So we're talking since April to the end of July, he's been able to acquire $1 million in different streams of income in real estate. So he told us about his washer, shade and dryer, you know, company. We've learned about um, some of his other companies, but in real estate alone, he's been able to do that within three months. And he's been doing that by being a real estate agent, also being a fix and flipper. He has a wholesale business. Um, you know, he can decide if he wants to do buy and holds with these uh, properties. Uh, in addition to that, if he doesn't want any of the properties that his team is acquiring, then he goes ahead and sell it. So these are different streams of income um, that you can do. And obviously, if you're a real estate agent, then you just benefit bonus because you get to save money um, while you're doing these projects. And as Joe told me, he loves being a real estate agent. And that is extra money that comes in because he loves fix and flipping. You know, he's partnered with his dad on construction. They are over. How many states do you guys do? We're doing three states right now. What Go states are you doing? We're going to Florida soon. Hey, coming to Florida. <laughs> Listen, let's get it. So what states are you in now? You're in Maryland? Maryland, D.C. and Virginia. Okay. And Florida's coming next. Ow. So listen, <laughs> if you're in the DMV, um, hopefully I can say this. It should be cool. But if you're in DMV, you need construction, then you got a partner. So hit them up. Listen, Let's every business need money. I'm about keeping all the money on the table. Yeah. So, you know, if you're looking for um, fix and flip, if you need help, if you're looking for a mentor and you just want to talk to someone, hit Joel up, hit myself up. We are here. 
Um, you know, Joe's been through so much. We're still learning. Um, we still have a lot to learn, but it is so good to network with people and to help people. That's what we love to do. Um, and so if there's anybody that we can help, if there's anybody that we can reach out to, let us know. Again, Joe is so humble. He's so cool. If you reach out to him, he won't bite you. He will definitely reach back. Um, and he's, again, full of just so much knowledge and so much information um, that we can share. Uh, Joe, is there anything else that you want to share with the viewers? Because I know you got things going on. I really want to share light on your businesses and things you have coming up. Sure. Yeah. So maybe on the next next episode, right? We'll talk about my new development deal that's coming up. Oh, facts. I'm not letting you go on that one. We're going <laughs> to have a follow up with that development. <laughs> I'm definitely cooking it up right now. I'm structuring in a way where, you know, I'm probably the sources of income that I'm making just on that deal. I think it's like three or four ways that I'm going to make money. So, oh, I mean, yeah, I didn't even get into that. Yeah, but so, we'll, we'll, we'll oh, do that man. for next time. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Okay, cool, cool. We're going to say that for next time. But off of one deal, he's like making different incomes off of one. But okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, we just need to execute it first and then we'll definitely talk about it. There you go. Well, I am excited. Thank you so much, guys, for keeping into Keeping It Realty. You know, it's your girl, Yolanda. You can check me every Thursday at 1 p.m. where I come and bring you the hottest tea. Joe stuck in with me today. I appreciate your time. Thank you so much for letting me interview you. And I will be back to catch his development is deal. Check it. We are not letting that deal go. It's going through in the name of Jesus is already done because he's the man. If he got it, let's go. If anybody have any properties, hit them up as well. Um, you know, hit them up for anything. He will buy. If the deals is right, if the numbers is right, he will buy all day long. He's my number one VIP contact on my list. So as soon as I get a deal, I'm hitting him up first. <laughs> so you guys know, but Joe definitely does buy. So any of my um, other followers that are looking, if you guys have properties, hit Joe up. Um, and he has a tight network. So if he won't buy one, his friends will. That's right. Peace. Thank you guys for tuning in.